Okay, you guys, so I'm here to do a request a video, two request a videos in one, another fall look. And I got that request from several people, a few people, I should say. And someone asked me to do, to explain, you know, when I'm doing a contour, what's that for? What is that for? My highlight, how I use my highlight, um, and what steps do I go in? Because this person says sometimes they see people putting on their contour their concealer first then they'll put on their foundation so it just it's all a personal preference but I'll, I'll kind of walk through how I do it I already did my um brows and that is the absolute first thing I always always do I already concealed underneath my eyes and I will conceal underneath my eyes and on top of my eyes at the same time and then put on my primer so I did that already and I like to start with my eyes and then do my foundation but sometimes I'll do a reverse but I like to go ahead and get my eyes done and then I'll put on my foundation if I mess up and get some fallout underneath my eyes then I can kind of clean it but like I said I already put my concealer down so it really doesn't matter which order I go in today I'm going for a cranberry fall look and these are my choices I love these three colors Milani has one called Bella Rouge. It's so pretty. I got a lot of light going on here. Hold on. There we go. Bella Rouge. Which is what I think I'm going to use today. This is, or no, I'm going to use this one. Ruby Velvet by Lancome. Love that. And they're all kind of the same. I had to stop myself from buying cranberry colors because every time I see one, I want it. It's so pretty. It's one of my favorite, favorite fall colors. And then Raw Power. This is a Metal Crush color by Kat Von D. This is also really gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to use. And then in my crease, I love, love, love. You guys have heard me say this Reveal 2 palette. Because it has this real pretty fall burgundy color that I like. I've never used this on my lid. I've always just used it in my crease. So I'm going to have to try that on my lid. But I'm not going to do that today. So anyway, I'm going to use the one from Milani. And just load up my shadow. I'm at my brush. And then place it on my lid. A lot of times if the shadow has um, shimmer in it. I like to squirt it, just mist it with setting spray, and that will bring it out, help bring out those colors more, and it'll also help with fallout. It just makes that color pop. Put that all over my lid. My battery is flashing at me. I'm going to change that and then go ahead and finish up both lids. I'm going to lay down. Before I start doing my crease color, I'm going to go ahead and lay down just a little piece of tape. Just to have that crisp look. You can achieve that look without the tape, but just use it as my guide. Grab, and I have that on both lids. I'm just going to grab a blending brush. And I am going to use the brown out of the um, Black Radiance contour palette to do the color in my crease. Some people will do their crease work first, which that almost makes more sense, but I just like to put my lid color down first. Either way is fine. Windshield wipe promotions in my crease I see a lot of people who like to start with a lighter crease color and then they'll bring it down they'll use you know a darker color and then yet a darker color a lot of times I will literally just use one crease color and then I'm out the door
but today I'm gonna use two because I want to use that darker cranberry color as well okay so then I'm gonna go into this pretty rich color and I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm just gonna go kind of like just my outer V with this color just to deepen up that outside a little bit and I just want a little richer on a little deeper color on my outer V and I'm going to use this brown from NARS called Galapagos on this brush and I may not have said that right but on this brush by Makeup Geek this is an outer V brush it just really allows you to concentrate right there on the outer V so I just want to deepen up just a little bit not too much And then what I'll do, and what I like to do, now that I have my crease colors in, I like to blend that color above the crease. Okay? All the way up to my brow bone. I have a new favorite brow bone color. I usually don't put a color in my brow bone. I'm going to use uh, Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. It's like a reddish brown. Real similar to Oktoberfest from Coastal Sense or Brown Script from MAC. And I have those, those, all three of those, and they are the same. So I'm just going to blend out the crease on top and take it all the way up to where my brow bone starts. This little brush right here, what is this brush? This is a little Cornell brush, so this is a painter's brush real little you see how small it is and it's real fluffy looks like it's dirty because I've used it I love that for my brow bone but this color right here I never could figure out what to use this scope color for in the um, contour palette I have medium dark that scope color people use it for various things perfect for brow bone for me for my skin tone because I don't like my brow bone to stand out too much. I like it to look natural. And so that scope color is just perfect. Carefully remove the tape. I'll go ahead and add my mascara and um, eyeliner. And then I'll move on to the next step. Okay, I think that's a better angle. I had my camera set up a little different. But, um, so I have on my mascara and eyeliner. And now, just to get my under eye just a little more pop, I'm going to take this color right here. I don't always do this. And this is just an e.l.f. brush. This is different from a regular shadow brush. This is a shorter. It's shorter and stiff. What is it called? It's called a smudge brush. And it just kind of helps you to smudge color underneath. You can smudge out your eyeliner. I'm just going to sweep some of that burgundy color underneath. looks good wakes my eyes up a little more and then so the first step before after I did my brows I did did I already do my um did I tell you guys I put my always put this down first my primer for my face and I think I already did that I'm not sure I mean I know I already did it but I don't know if I did it on camera and if not I always like to do that first just so that's already set up and then I could just go right on into my foundation today I'm using Milani cream to powder 
here it is that was number two this is number three number two is a little lighter this is my exact color and I already have concealer underneath my eye but I'll still sweep that underneath Make sure I get that buffed in real good. Now from here, some people will put this foundation, their foundation on first. And then they'll go and put on their um, concealer. And that's there's nothing wrong with that. I conceal to cover up spots. Some people will use a concealer that's lighter than their skin tone. So that they can highlight which I don't always do that, but I will today. So for example, this is Toffee from, no, Cafe, number 30 from Maybelline. This is like my third one. I've used this quite a few times. I used to use this all the time. And I don't like to come all the way down on my cheeks like that. Just really right there underneath my eye. Just like that. And I'll take my favorite concealer brush if I can find it. Which, oh yeah, no, this is not it. But I'll use this. Here it is. This is by e.l.f. It's called a Flawless Concealer Brush. You can dampen it if you want. But I just like to concentrate right underneath my eye and come down just a little bit. And for me, this just helps my under eye look bright. Look a little brighter like I just woke up. Like I'm fresh. I got a good night's sleep. And some people take it down further. But that's, you know, that's a personal preference. See that real subtle. And then I have my banana powder here. And I'm going to set that. I put on one thin layer. And I'll go back and put on another layer. And I'll leave that like that just in long enough while I set the rest of my face. I'm going to use a setting powder, finishing powder. This is typically the set, a skin tone, a matching skin tone. And this sets, because I put that foundation on, even though that was a Milani cream, the powder is supposed to set as a powder. Anytime you use a foundation, you want to set it so it won't move around. That's the purpose. Stays in place if you want it to you know, wear for a few hours. So you always want to set it. I'm just going to use, this is actually a translucent powder real sheer so I'm going to put this all over my face and then I'm going to dust off underneath my eye and I just like how that's just super settled it's real subtle real subtle highlight underneath my eyes so then I'm going to contour which I don't always do from here I could just throw on some blush but lately I've just really love been loving contouring and I'm gonna pull out that contour palette again and I like a subtle contour as well so I'm gonna take my blush brush go into my contour palette you guys see I have a natural contour line on both sides. It's almost like a hyperpigmentation right there. And that's just my mark. Usually you can make the fish face. 
and where your cheeks sink in at your contour line. This just helps your face to be just kind of chiseled. If you want to chisel your face a little bit, put some dimension because this foundation is just one flat color. So it just gives that dimension. You see that? Helps my cheeks to stand out a little bit. So that's the purpose of contouring. Some people put it down the bridge of their nose just to give their nose a more chiseled look. I've done that before sometimes, but I don't really have to do that. It definitely gives you a more glamorous look. I have this blush up here. This is must. I thought I had the Taraji blush up here. Oh, here it is. That's what I want to use today. With the same blush, brush, and I just find my, my apples. I put it on top of that contour and then kind of just blend it in with it on a little bit. I don't go over this with that contour. On, I don't put this on top of that contour, but just on top of where the contour starts. If I want my contour to stand out a little more, I could take some powder that's lighter and go up under here just so that'll stand out more, but I don't want to do that. But I do like to see when people do that. So there's my blush sometimes i would take my powder brush just to make sure i have that blended everything i do is real subtle i'm going to use highlight the purpose of a highlight is just so that it just our face naturally draws light in the center and on our cheeks right and you just want to highlight that area it's not you don't have to obviously but I love it I've 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 really am starting to love highlighting and contouring something I never really oh, never used to do so the top of your cheekbones you can feel the top of your cheekbone right above your blush that's where you put your highlight Add as much or as little as you want. And when you go outside and that light hits your face, it just beams. I was outside. I was somewhere and this lady had on some highlight. The sun was hitting her face. So I couldn't stop staring at her. I was like, <laughs> looked like she had diamonds coming out of her face. It was so pretty. So that's what that's for. Some people put some on top of their nose. These are just all the areas where the light will naturally reflect off your face this is Fergie by Wet n Wild it's real subtle you see I'm applying several layers because it's real subtle you know what I, final step is to set it a setting spray and you can buy a setting spray where it's like a dewy setting spray that will give you an illuminous shine a setting spray that will match you out that will keep your face matte um I don't have any sitting right here this is just a generic one well, here's one that says a dewy finish by NYX. NYX has a dewy finish one and NYX also has a matte finish one. This is Urban Decay D Slick. It's oil control. And my mascara was, you know, I, I put that and did my eyes first so my mascara was completely dry. I've done it before where my mascara would then start running, but um, my mascara was dry. So that's just something to be mindful of. My ears are sticking out. <laughs> so that's it. Simple fall look. This is a wearable look. I'm going to, to work and um, I'm mentoring today and real simple fall look. Let's see what lipstick I want to wear. I can do something like that, but you know what? I have my eyes is cranberry in color, so I'm just going to do a nude. I could line this. I never do. Sometimes I do. Just put a gloss on top. I don't know if you guys noticed before how my lips are very... Um, 
hyperpigmentation around my lips. I have a natural line around my lips. I go outside in daylight. Although this is pretty, some pretty good light going on right now. So, but I will still come back with the, um, in daylight with my hair done and show you the finished look. Okay guys, I'm back. It's later in the day and I didn't come and show you my look outside cause it's so sunny today and I just couldn't get a good, um, view or good lighting or whatever. But I have on a new lippy and it's matte. Still, it's creamy, but you guys know, or if you don't know, I like, I like the stain power of a matte, but I like to put a gloss on top. And I ne wouldn't necessarily wear this color with this eye look and, you know, I got on just so much pink, but I just wanted to try it on. Let me show you what it is. It's a liquid lipstick from Ruby Kisses. I just picked it up today from the beauty supply store and it's called Triple Butter Matte Cream. I've never seen anybody talk about these, but it says mango butter, shea butter, and cocoa butter. So Triple Butter Matte Cream. It's this real pretty fuchsia color right here or whatever you would describe that, like a pinkish, yeah, like a pinkish purple. Um this one and then i got this one this pretty rich plum color i don't know what they're called this color is called aren't you jealous this color is called berry in love and i got two for me and then two for one lucky winner i'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway these two lippies just something simple i've been promising to do a giveaway for a long time um this palette that i haven't given away for i've been having this palette for a while this is the 28 it's foiled shadows 28 color eyeshadow by beige cosmetic it looks like this pretty pretty rich colors these are some pretty fall colors and so are those purples and blues um and i have one that's not open so that'll be yours and then i was going to give away one of these artisan brushes i bought one to give away and i can't find it so whoever wins this palette is going to get the brush if i can find it if not i'll throw something else something else in the giveaway so if you are interested just put it if you are interested just say enter me for the palette or enter me for the two lip creams just one entry per person either you want this or you want the um the shadows and i'll be doing more i'm gonna upload a video and i don't know if it'll be before this one or after this one i'm giving away some um hair bonnets real cute hair bonnets if you're interested in that so and you can enter both you can and i didn't say this in my hair video but if you enter this makeup video um makeup giveaway which i only want you to enter once you can also though enter the for the hair bonnets okay so check out both um videos obviously you're checking this one out but check out the other video if it's not uploaded now it will be i don't know which one will get uploaded first all right that's all i got you guys i will see you later